Hi, my name is Michael, and today we're going to talk about the starter generator circuit, basic inspection and test and operation. So in the previous video, we identified the different parts of the DC generator. So in this video, we've taken off our uh, assembly here to do an inspection on our brushes. So earlier, so becoming tight, earlier you can see here that we have brushes that are sitting on that commutator. So we basically remove the, the spring here to do an inspection. That may be done periodically or it could be done um, to on condition or to see if we've got a problem. Um, I've removed some, I've removed some uh, brushes here and if you have a look it's basically a carbon based brush um, and we're inspecting to make sure that we've got plenty of tread left within the context of the aircraft maintenance manual we would check that. We'd also do an inspection to have a look on the, the commutator and you can see in tight there that there's no wear in that commutator and we can rotate the commutator to make sure that there's no damage. This one's pretty old. Okay, so So how does a starter generator operate? The purpose of the starter generator initially is to start the engine. So we're going to put an electrical voltage in to the generator and we're going to provide torque through our um, brushes to our magnetic field. Those two magnetic fields are going to interact and that force is going to be applied here to the engine or through the accessory gearbox to the engine to actually drive the engine to start it. Once the engine reaches a certain speed, a certain RPM, uh, the external circuitry that we, we're going to look at in other YouTube videos is going to kick in. Our igniters and all those things are going to, to, to operate. We're going to put fuel in the engine. And after a certain speed, the, all of that circuitry will disconnect. The, the engine will then be rotating at a certain speed and that will induce a voltage. And then the output voltage, after it reaches a certain voltage, from the output of our generator will connect on to the aircraft electrical system and provide power. So generally that, that is engine start, the, the generator is, is a motor, so it's basically turning the engine and once it reaches a certain speed our engine becomes self-sustaining or is propelling, it will then kick over and as I said the external circuitry will then stop providing electrical power to the, the starter side. It will then connect electrical power and once it reaches that 28 volts or 28, 28, 29 volts, it will connect power onto the aircraft electrical circuit. Now, that uh, system is explained in a separate video.